Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link. So, today we have a very simple mission. I just want to beat Palace 6. After that, we have one episode left where we're going to conquer the final dungeon. So honestly, this might be a pretty short episode, all things considered. Which is good, because Palace 6 is quite nasty. And I have a feeling we're going to have a few game overs there. Alright, back to the Hidden Palace we go. Welcome to the Hidden Palace, Link. You're used to beating and defeating, but Ganon's cheating, cuz these traps are unfair. How did they get there? I really don't care. We will win in the end. We will win, watch my friend. We won't die just yet. We won't lose, I bet. We're determined, Link. I know you've been hurt, you've been burned, but we have learned. I know you want to give in. The outlook seems grim, but straw strike from within. Okay, and then you should be scared, cause this time we came prepared. How did you get ahead since you are still all dead? You but you cannot succeed with your vile deed. Wanna know why? It's because I cannot die. You can strike me down with great speed, and I'll just come back to life instantly, and I'll hit you with all that I've got, and things for you will get quite hot, I will never, no never give in, until I triumph over you and win, and you'll finally understand, that your traps didn't work in the end, no they don't, you won't win, you won't. I am the hero of this. I will wake her with a kiss. Zelda. That was a little song I composed for just this occasion. Now on that note, I have no clue where I'm going right now, so I should probably look. Hmm. Get out of here, Iron Knuckle! Yeah. Ouch. Dead end, eh? Shoot, I should not have used the magic on life. Because I need the fairy spell to progress to the end of the dungeon. I mean, I gotta get there first of all, but... Ouch. I still don't know where I am. I have the dungeon map pulled up, and I don't even know where I am. Let me see where I am. Okay, um, no. Where? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm heading towards the cross again. You jump to the top of the screen, and it starts to flicker. Bam. Yeah, let's fall down two more. Link. I know you've been burned and been hurt, but we have learned. Yeah, this way, I should have kept going this way. Never mind the fact that there are these stupid unicorn heads that are trying to kill me over bottomless pits. See what I mean when I say Ganon's cheating? He kind of is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take that. <laughs> I love how I can one-shot them. It's very, very fun. Oh, that's right. Derp! Link, I know you're beating and defeating, but Ganon's cheating. B, cause these traps are unfair, you will never have a care. There we go. Hi, Helmeted Stalfos. Ooh, 200 experience points. Why not? Okay, I guess keys are needed in this dungeon. This guy again. You get to fight another riding blue iron knuckle. Or maybe I should just say you have to, because that's really what you did. It's you have to. Ooh, that's not good. Come on. Wow, I'm sucking big time. Ouch, I'm sucking big time. Alright. He's gonna be a coward and retreat into the wall. <laughs> well, that one will. Excellent. Okay. Here, if you so choose, you can use a fairy to hover over here and pick up a Link doll, which gives you a 1-up. That you can actually get right now, if you want, but make sure you have enough magic left over to use fairy in this invisible pit down here. Or you just have to be really good with your jump. Because you have to use fairy to get for this crevice, which leads to the boss. Kind of a jerkish move, that. Alright, wow, boss already. Well, we're gonna want the jump spell and the shield spell, basically. Welcome to the sixth boss! Volvagia. This might be this might be the same Volvagia from Ocarina of Time. It's kind of unclear. And this guy can actually be a bit of a pain, because you need to not stab when you're at the height of your jump. Especially if Volvagia is retreating. And, of course, Volvagia can also knock you into a bottomless pit, which is also not nice. And I believe you do have to jump slash, because while Volvagia is popping in and out of the lava, I believe he's completely invulnerable. And if, if you don't have the jump spell equipped right now, you pretty much can't even reach him. Oh, and that's game over. Well, not quite game over. Got one life left. I'll also equip Reflect. That'll help me with the fireball attack. Yeah, you see, my shield now blocks all of its fireballs. Come on. Only if I'm at the same height as the fireballs, though. <laughs> okay, didn't feel like shooting fireballs that day? Okay. Takes proper timing with your sword to stab Volvagia. But once you get that down, Volvagia's not too bad! And once again, my shadow keeps showing up every time I beat a boss. It's foreshadowing! <laughs> and we just beat the hidden palace, yay! So that was incredibly short, so we actually have time to at least attempt going to the final dungeon. That's pretty cool. But first, of course, magic will go up again, and now we are max level. Well, sweet! Well, kind of. 
but I kind of want to die now, because there is absolutely no way that we are going to be able <laughs> to reach the final dungeon with one life. Laugh it up, Ganon. Laugh it up. <laughs> Alright. Now I am actually going to make a save state here, because I'm going to go around and collect all of those Link dolls that we've seen before. And just to make sure, I'm going to look up all the locations so I don't miss any. Because this is the part of the game where if you don't have all the Link dolls, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be a lot harder. And I don't really see a whole lot of ways that <laughs> you can do it without a bunch of Link dolls. Alright. So let's start. Right here. One up. Alright, next stop, King's Tomb. Well, near King's Tomb, anyways. Link Doll's right there. And now we're heading towards Maze Island. I say towards, it's not actually on Maze Island, but it's near there. And I'm just gonna say, Final Dungeon, prepare for pain. There will be lots of pain. And also, just for kicks, I'm not pulling up a map for that dungeon. Alright, what's all this Hopefully this will be the last time I have to go through your domain. Ouch. Is it just me, or do, are they better, getting better shots? I feel like they're learning the way I normally go for their rocks, and are throwing their rocks differently to shake me up. to go through the swamp, everybody. This will be lots of fun and laughs in games. Oh, look! Should have picked up that jar. Here we go. There we go, another extra life! Okay, so we picked up four extra lives, so we, at this point, now have six lives with which to do with what we please. We're gonna need all of them. You might be wondering, how could it can't be much worse than the 6th dungeon, or like the 5th dungeon, or whatever. Oh, it is. It's much, much worse. Alright, so first up, we have to go for these gravestones. And welcome to the Path of Hell. <laughs> so now we have more of the Zolfoses chucking rocks at us. We've got guys that are stealing our experience, which I believe might be invisible if you don't have the cross from the 6th dungeon. Fact-check me on that, though. Welcome to the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Also known as the final stretch of the journey. This is annoying because there's lava everywhere and people constantly try to knock you into it. Oh, hi. As you can see, we're already close to death. And we, we are met with a Lizalfos who means business and means to hurt us. Hi! And yeah, this whole area is just kind of luck-based, because one wrong move by the enemies, not even by you, by the enemies, and you fall into the lava and die. Fortunately, this is made much easier by the fairy spell, because although you're going to tank a bunch of damage, especially if the Vizalfos is there, you have free movement and enemies can't knock you into the lava. So that is definitely the way to go. Or if you're super good, you can spawn enemy encounters to skip over the much harder forced encounters. I am not good enough for, but at that. <laughs> Thank you, fairy. God bless the fairy spell. Everyone. I'm actually not even... Because our wife is maxed out, I'm not taking as much damage from that as you might expect. Alright. 
forced encounters of a ca cavern kind. Let's get through this. The eyeball enemies are not too bad. Well, the red eyeball enemies are not too bad. The blue ones that are pose that are flying around like nuts are much worse. Ooh, I want that. If I just have to view, uh, fight the SQ Ron enemies, then I'll be fine. Hi, Scorpion! That's annoying. Hi, Blue- Oh, you're throwing clubs at me. I, I don't want to join that club. Okay. So it's one screen ahead of me. I'm going to actually try to do the f enemy encounter instead of the scripted event. Oh, I did! Yes! This is a big enemy on the f forced tile square. And they're actually coming down. Darn it! Oh well. I don't think I could have afforded the fairy spell anyways if it was the forced encounter. <sighs> These guys are just so unpredictable. On the, kind of on the same level of, as bots. But now we got to skip that forced fight. And that's the final palace up ahead. We just have to cross through this cave. Filled with angry blue Azalfoses who are chucking clubs at me. And the red ones who are just swinging clubs at me. Alright. You all ready for the final dungeon? Let's do this. Welcome to the Great Palace. Unquestionably the hardest Zelda dungeon ever made. So to start, we've got this barrier that opens up only if you've beaten all the other six dungeons. And this dungeon is the worst. Ever. It is unbelievably huge, with well over 20 floors, no map, absolutely no way of telling where you're going, and they saved all the ha hardest enemies in the entire game for last. Starting with these guys, called Fokkas. F-O-K-K-A. They take way more hits to kill than pretty much any other enemy we've seen thus far. And they deal an obscenely high amount of damage. And they are probably the easiest enemies in this area. Jump past that, otherwise you're going to fall down an invisible pit down there, right into the bots. Down here, and again, I really don't know this dungeon. I've beaten it once, and it's literally just a giant maze. Like, if you go the wrong way, you're hitting a dead end, but it's usually a very long, convoluted dead end. It, this dungeon's pretty evil. And again, we still haven't even met the hardest enemies yet. More Fakas, not too hard. Especially if you can get past their fire. Oh, Unicorn Heads are back, and they have more HP now. You should know better than to challenge Artie at a Zelda game. Out of my way, unicorn heads. I've got a game to win. Okay, yeah, this is where the enemies get insane. Meet the Hawk Knight. The Hawk Knights take all the worst aspects of all the worst enemies and combine them into one. They're like Iron Knuckles, except they all of them shoot sword beams. They have even more HP, even more attack, are even harder to hit, and they chase you through the dungeon. Have fun. At least they disappear once you leave the room. Is there a fairy this way? I hope there is. No, just a Fokka. Yeah, they, even at max power, they take, like, six hits to kill. Thank you. Yeah, we're not even close to being like a third of the way through the dungeon. It's it's so massive. On the night, the one nice fiend, no keys. Not that that would matter since we have the magic key, anyways. And yeah, we're we are at maxed out power, and bots are still doing incredible damage to us. And meet the blue hawk knight, undoubtedly the worst enemy in the entire game. We are using the jump spell just so we can get away from this guy. And never mind. 
Alright. So this guy's in the room. He has the jump spell. We're equipping shield as well. Like, these guys have so much HP and are so hard to hit, don't even bother trying to hit them. Just run. No. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. We, we basically want to strategically take out these blocks so he cannot follow us. Yes. And he's doing his darndest to try. And he's still shooting sword beams like mad. Cross that bridge of death and destruction. Out of here, bubble. We don't want you here. Oh, it's Giga Bubble. Let's see if we can kill it. We can. No experience from it, though. Fakas are basically more annoying versions of the Wookiees. And yeah, you can see, this dungeon, it's so easy to die, because everything deals like two bars of damage per hit. Oh, not you. Get out of here. Yeah, he's literally chasing me. He is relentless in his pursuit of blood. Like I said, don't even try to fight them. They take like nine hits to kill or something like, ridiculous like that. That just became dangerous. But that was absolutely worth it. I do love the Great Palace theme, though. It's very good. Oh, yes, please. Bots. Bots on narrow platforms like this are so annoying, because they are impossible to predict. Because <laughs> every part of them is random. We get a Link doll if we go this way, though. Oh, sweet! I saw three bots all jump off a cliff. Four bots jump off a cliff. Well, you didn't jump off a cliff, but that's fine. It's fine. We can't all be winners. I believe we go this way now. I'm just following... Keep in mind, think of all the ways that I've been I could have gone, all the paths I could have diverged to. This just happens to be the right way. And you have no way of knowing this because you have no map. Oh, that's right. I remember this room. Completely invisible pit. Right there. Good luck finding that. This is Gigabot! You kill him and he turns into a bunch of little bots that all have a ton of HP for some reason. But they fill up your magic. Oh yeah, see the scap? You want to fall in the gap. And... Secret passageway. That one's at least a bit more obvious. Alright, we're actually nearing the end of the dungeon, which I can't even believe. Yeah, we're at the boss. Holy cow, we're at the boss. Meet Thunderbird! We have no chance of killing him right now, so we are just going to let him kill us. And I'm not joking, we literally had no chance of killing him. Because this is the part of the game where you need the Thunder spell. It's Thunder Bird. You would assume he'd be immune to Thunder, but no, Thunder's the only thing that can actually let us damage him. Thunder, at, when you have max level magic and all the magic containers, Thunder takes half your magic meter away. So now at this point, we are going to want Jump, Shield, and Reflect. Shield will lower the damage we take. Jump will let us actually hit him in the face. And we can't do up stabs or down stabs. It has to be horizontal stabs. And Reflect will help hopefully block most of the fireballs he shoots, which deal an obscene amount of damage. Thunderbird. You are not as hard as I remember. Granted, I also know your weakness. Alright, I'm beating the game. In the, right now, <laughs> I have four extra lives. 
Come on. I know you want it. Come on, I know you want it. Okay, now he's damaging me. Take that! Thousand experience points. Not even close to a level up. And now, let's go beat the game. Because that's not the true final boss. No siree. The old elf isn't going to give us the Triforce of Courage. Unless we can take on our greatest enemy. Our shadow. So this is the final boss of the game. Dark Link. He is utterly insane. His AI is so ridiculously good. Thankfully, there's a very easy way to beat him. Step 1. Equip Shield. And the rest? Well... Tell you what, I'm actually going to try to beat him legitly, because I have a few extra lives. Come on. Come at me, man. I have no strategy going into this. I'm literally just stabbing, like, no, nobody's business. Oh man. So as you can see, Dark Link is utterly ridiculous. He blocks pretty much everything you can throw at him, and he has a ton of HP. I've only gotten one hit on him. Down stabbing seems to work pretty darn well. Well, I mean, it's hard for you to take damage if you're... Okay! Get him while he's landing, that's the key. Ouch. Ow! Alright, two lives left. At least now I know don't cast fire, because it does nothing! So apparently that old elf is, like, Keeper of the Triforce of Courage or something. And he, this, is, this entire thing is just a giant test for Link, apparently. So yeah, it's a good thing that there's a strategy just to cheese your way to victory here. Because if you if you didn't have that, like, it would just be really whoa, oh yeah, things can kinda warp from the right side of the screen to the left and vice versa. Okay, I should have hit him in midair there. Yeah, his shield is, like, ridiculously huge and covers, like, every single part of him except his feet. Which you can only hit if he's, like, landing. Yeah, there have been several times where I've stabbed him right in the face while he's crouched and I should have hit him and I didn't. So apparently, yeah, it doesn't pay to actually try to be strategic, no. Instead, you just gotta cheese your way to victory. It's my last life! So here's what you want to do. If you want to beat Dark Link, great. Equip shield, just as a precaution. Wait for him to appear. Move to the left side of the screen, and just keep crouch-stabbing him right here. 
And if he does that, then you gotta just reorient re yourself a bit. But seriously, this is like the only way to damage him and beat him. Goodbye, Dark Link. And that's Zelda 2. Give me my reward, old man. Yes, we finally beat the game. We finally beat the game, yes. So now we have the entire Triforce with us. The Triforce of Wisdom, whose pieces we collected from the first game. The Triforce of Power we got for killing Ganon in the first game. And then the Triforce of Courage we got for braving the most ridiculous dungeon Zelda has ever uh, held. You saved Hyrule, and you are... A real hero. Aw, oh, thanks, Zelda. Ooh, the kiss that <laughs> we don't get to see. So yeah, that's Zelda 2. Insanely difficult game, but hopefully this Let's Play gave you some good tips and strategies that you can implement to survive. There were parts of the game I made look a lot easier than they actually were, because I have a lot of experience with this game. And I just want to be noted, this is not my least favorite Zelda game. This is definitely one of my least favorite Zelda games, but it's not my all-time least favorite. I actually have fun playing this game. The combat system is cool, and... There are enemies that are just not fun to fight, looking at you Iron Knuckles and Hawk Knights and Dark Link, but for the most part it's a pretty well done game, even if there are a lot of puzzles where it's like, yeah, you're gonna have to consult a guide for that one. But the whole level up system is good, I like the magic spells you get in the game, the sword uh, techniques that you can learn throughout, and just the fact that it really experimented, and because Zelda was still a very like, it was a brand new series, there was only one game before this, they had a lot more freedom to kind of shake it up, whereas now, if they released a Zelda game like this, there would be a lot of outcry. But this is not a bad game. Thanks a million. Aww. Push start to replay. <laughs> Has anyone actually done that? Let's be honest. This game is just really hard. And in case people are wondering, my least, my all-time least favorite Zelda game would be Four Swords Adventures for the GameCube. Just because that game was just destined to fail, because it tried to be like, oh, it's cooperative, but also competitive. It's like, no, pick one or the other. You can't pick both, otherwise that's just a recipe for disaster. And it was. But I'm not playing that game. I'm playing Zelda 2, and I just finished. And thanks for very much for watching. Thanks a million, quite literally. I hope to see you for my next Let's Play. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.